Hello and welcome to the Think Bamboo podcast. Today we're talking to Christophe and Thibault from Bamboo Neem in La Réunion, a overseas um, region from France <laughs> below Madagascar. Um, welcome. Thanks a lot, Thiago. You're very welcome. welcome. <laughs> so, um, um, can you give me a um, quick introduction, maybe, um, on one what you guys are are basically doing with bamboo uh, there, and uh, how you ca how you got there? I mean, both things are, are like super interesting, to be honest. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have founded this uh, little enterprise six years ago mm -hmm. on uh, La Réunion Island. Uh, Thibaut is architect. I am engineer from Insalion. And uh, I was developing uh, renewable energy uh, on the different islands in the Indian Ocean. And then we discovered the potential of the bio energy and uh, we discovered the bamboo yes it was as simple as that and we for i felt in love with bamboo and now uh, this is my principal activity we are designer and we are also um, artisan i don't know the english word we build with our hands that's beautiful. And so your background is basically like mostly from solar, um, um, like solar stuff like that, solar energy or? Yes, uh, we have a um, part of our activity working on adaptation to climate change for little islands in the Indian Ocean. So we are working on specific items like uh, solar system, biomass system and agroforestry mm -hmm. and uh, in that uh, uh, global approach uh, Thibault and I decided to found a little activity to push uh, strongly the bamboo uh, on our islands. Bamboo is an old, old, old practice in every island but during the 20th century, uh, people um, abandoned the practice of bamboo. And now we restore it everywhere we can. So um, that is the basic uh, of our activity, going on each island and help people to make uh, bamboo design and bamboo building. And um, how, I mean, we're uh, in very different places right now. So I imagine you're like cut off from mostly almost anything there. Uh, <laughs> so you have electricity or you have like solar panels to have electricity or, and and is, is the bamboo like, it was, you said it was, it has been used like historically before people stopped using it. So you have endemic bamboo already grown there um or has what's the situation there i mean that's uh perhaps Thibaut could uh, answer the question yeah yeah. <clears throat> yeah sure so basically what you gotta understand about reunion island is completely isolated from everything and basically everything that we use is imported so our energy is imported our resources to build are imported our food is imported so expensive and, um, yeah, so it's really expensive uh, in money, but also for the planet. Like mm -hmm. uh, the footprint of everything is very expensive. <laughs> and yeah. bas basically, yes, we have uh, one uh, endemic species of bamboo that has been present from a long time in Rainan Island. And uh, because of a colonialism, uh, a lot of people from around the world has been brought to Rainan Island. And these people, thanks god they bring the bamboo with them so we have two major species of bamboo uh, that are everywhere in the island we have the bambusa vulgaris mm -hmm. and the dendrocalamus giganteus 
So basically, these are the two main uh, bamboo species that are in the island. And uh, you might know that these are not the best to build with, but well, they are the, very good. Yeah, the and first the, one is, is, is not ideal to build, right? But the second one, the Gigantus, is maybe a little bit huge, but uh, it's it's absolutely, uh, it's like timber. I mean, yeah, for real. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's a true timber bamboo. And uh, basically, our goal is to try to promote the use of bamboo in buildings but also in the agricultural system, because we, we deeply think that bamboo can help us to develop a sustainable way of uh, farming, of developing agriculture. And it could be a, a really intricate link between uh, uh, agriculture and industry. So basically for us, it could try to match these two things and to try to develop an industry made out of bamboo. Absolutely. So let's talk first about your approach. Um, can we call it a polyculture approach, uh, something between permaculture and um, and setting up um, bamboo within existing crops to probably improve the soil, improve shade, improve topsoil, improve water retention and stuff like that. So um I mean, this is really, this is it. You guys are on, on top of it. This is absolutely something very important. Um, and uh, most have, have not this kind of use from bamboo on their radar. So um, I don't know. Um, have you, are you working with several farmers who are trying to improve their crops or what's the approach there? What's your experiences? Uh, what are the learnings? I mean, others could use maybe if you want to share. Yeah, Thibaut and I uh, worked down a global scheme for developing bamboo on uh, Rainin Island. Rainin Island is a tiny island around 2,500 kilometers square. Mm -hmm. We are around 8,000 uh, and 800,000. Uh, 800,000. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. People. And uh, we have made calculation that we could put on the our first to say is that Iranian iron is one among the best earth uh, to plant bamboo and to make bamboo growing. Mm -hmm. This is an island between zero altitude and 3000 meters high. And you have a lot of microclimate all around the island. This is a volcanic earth mm -hmm. and uh, we already have very good earth to plant bamboo. Mm -hmm. First, second, we have a bamboo. We have a genetic of around one hundred and twenty uh, type of bamboo on the island. Wow, that's a lot. That's good. That's that. That's positive. Yeah. Very positive. <laughs> that are that are actually in a specific place. We call it la bamboo du Guillaume. Mm -hmm. This is a botanical engineer who uh, developed this uh, bambuze 13 years ago. Wow. Thanks God, as we say here. Yeah. We have now a very large scale of uh, genetic in bamboo. And so um, our first step, uh, once we have all done this uh, global scheme about bamboo plantation all around the island, what to present it to the authorities. Now uh, we are working with uh, different kind of uh, farmers all around the island, and we have already put in us um, experimental plantation at different microclimates of the island, so we can um, scientifically uh, evaluate the growing of each place for each kind of bamboo. That's mm -hmm. our actual move. And we are talking with uh, the authorities to uh, set up nurseries for six or eight nurseries um, all around the island. So we could uh, provide the farmers with uh, three uh, little bamboo they can plant uh, in some places of the agricultural um, 
space. Uh, perhaps, Thibaut, you could specify how we designed the, the plan. Yeah, sure. So basically, as uh, Christophe said, there is a lot of microclimate in Rainian Island. And basically, what we are trying to do is to um, to spread the genetic all around the island. Of course, we are planting uh, non-invasive bamboo, so clamping bamboo or like uh, the tropical bamboo. Yeah. So there is no harm to the environment. And uh, we are basically um, promoting the idea that the bamboo could be the perennial crop that uh, sustains a lot of different activities. Mm -hmm. So it can uh, break the wind, help water to go back to the soil and uh, create a lot of spaces where, where you can do something else than bamboo. Mm -hmm. And um, we are plan trying to, to spread uh, two or three main species of bamboo, like uh, Dendro calamus asper, Bambusa oldami, and uh, Bam uh, Dendro calamus strictus. So uh, we think that these species are really good and then they can set up to different heights and climate of the, the island. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and basically when we started our bamboo uh, business, if I could say, it was really hard for us to find bamboo. So of course you have bamboo all around the, the island, but the main difficulty is to harvest, to, to clean, to treat, to transport the bamboo. Mm -hmm. And what you have to know is that there are no, uh, there is no all of this chain in the island. Mm -hmm. So basically, we are using a bit of local bamboo, but we are trying also to develop our knowledge about bamboo. So we decided to to import a bit of bamboo in the island to try different species and to learn uh, with others. Mm -hmm. Basically, we have learned a lot through these exchanges, and this has been really useful to us. And now that we have a great understanding of the big picture, uh, we're trying to act locally to develop a sustainable uh, bamboo industry. I hope in the future, but for the moment, it's not an industry, it's just tiny, tiny bamboo production. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we are trying to make the steps that will help us go further in the future. So it seems you're very well organized and you have a clear vision in regards of what you are expecting uh, uh, of results in, in the near future. And um, I've heard some interesting things regarding the microclimates and uh, the fragmented existing bamboo, um, which is uh, something which uh, happens uh, all over the place, not just uh, on the, uh, the La Réunion Island. Um, but it's, it's interesting to see that this is uh, happening almost everywhere. Um, the microclimate is very interesting too, because um, you being architect, maybe you know that the, the higher the bamboo grows, the slower it grows, and the harder or the, the thicker it gets um, with um, guadua, it's like that. So um, you can have then different use uh, cases for, for like higher bamboo and lower bamboo for other stuff. Um, so it's, it's really, uh, it's, it's a nice thing to have so many different microclimates. You guys are in mm. uh, a very uh, impressive paradise, it seems, and are yeah, really sure. doing something um, uh, unique. So um, you say you're working also with the government or trying to work with the government. How is that going? Is it like also slow or is it um, rather or, or <laughs> you don't want to say anything or? <laughs> no, no, I yeah. think... He, he... Yeah, we are trying to to develop with the with the local organization. Basically, what you get to know in France that there is no reglementation or there is no um, building code with the bamboo. Mm -hmm. So basically, bamboo is not recognized as a building material, so you can't use it as a building material. But what about international and, uh, bodies like um, Inbar who have a building code? Is that not something which is like uh, you can use or? Yes, of course, we are referring to the international building codes, but they are not recognized in France. So you can use them and you know that your buildings are going to be strong, but you can have the insurance, you can have the everything that goes around the building. So okay. it's quite hard for us. And basically, what we try to do is to build in the agricultural fields. So um, different buildings that will uh, house plants that with house animal 
and basically you are less restricted mm -hmm. and it's easier for us to develop buildings in the agricultural landscape so this is where we start from so you would need yes. like so, sorry <laughs> One important thing we actually do is to negotiate with authorities the concept of a global plan for uh, the bamboo industry and the development of bamboo as a resilience uh, criteria for the island. And um, this is a long, long, long way, uh, but we have put the past and now we are talking with a lot of people here. A lot of people are now aware of the potential of bamboo. It was not the case four or five years ago. So that, that is a good point. Uh, and also, um, there is a lot of things to do with bamboo, even if we have no construct construction code. You know that. Absolutely. And that's what we try to explain to everybody on the island. So the agricultural sector is now aware of that. And uh, tomorrow we have a big meeting with an uh, industrial working in the wood uh, who could be interested in uh, consider the process of transformation. The cane, of the bamboo cane could become Lats, slats, mats, and so and so and so it's an important point. And uh, to discuss with government is a very difficult uh, time. We have no remuneration. We do it just as a benevol, if you want. Yes. But the second point is that we have set up a training course for people here in Bamboo. So Thibault and I are working everywhere on the island and we are training people in uh, uh, the build, building uh, be, uh, the, B no, building bamboo, in, yeah. in the knowledge of bamboo, yeah. Okay. And that is a powerful tool, really uh -huh. powerful tool. Okay, so that's Thibault. pretty cool. You're already like involving local people to understand and learn about the uses of bamboo probably on their own like um, houses or gardens or uh, constructions yeah. and uh, therefore you will get also more people uh, for the bamboo cause and um, that's that's pretty cool I think uh, that's how I found you also um, on uh, LinkedIn uh, looking for uh, bamboo construction worldwide so um, this is I mean education is is key to uh, to bamboo yeah. really promoting yeah. bamboo yeah. absolutely yeah. cool and, and uh, no yeah. sorry yeah. go on go on okay um regarding um so um we've talked a little bit regarding uh, the polyculture aspect aspect of bamboo and um, some of the added <laughs> values there and you said um previously that there is uh, or there are like big challenges regarding like normal construction talking of houses or or, or um, industrial constructions because there is no building code um currently in la reunion um is there any uh, work around right now um or is this just like you have to wait until um the government um says okay we're we're gonna use like in bars um, um building code or something like that or is it like if i have a own um land i can build um like my private house um with bamboo and nobody says anything but i can't have um insurance for example is that the situation you have yeah yeah exactly this is the the situation that we are in and uh, there has been in the past many many tries to promote bamboo and to recognize bamboo as a building material here in reunion island but the, the problem was that the resource wasn't uh, largely um, available. available. So, yes. you know, it's like the problem of the chicken of, yeah, available. And it's like the, the problem of the chicken or the egg, you know, who comes the first. And so yeah. we, we try to develop the, the culture of bamboo. So when we, there will be a lot of bamboo, 
they will have to develop the, the, the rules and the reglementations. So yes, basically it's a long way to go, but I think slowly but surely we are getting there and maybe in a few years or maybe the, the, the rules will be, will be accepted. And and basically, so. they don't have to uh, create new rules or invent the, the wheel new. It's already invented. Rules have been made. And yeah. there are lots of nation states who have bamboo building code, such also other organizations which are like represented within the UNO, you know, like INVAR, um, which are, I believe, well respected. So it's probably more a thing of um, really that the politicians have that on their radar and see that there is yeah, yeah. really need now to go forward. <laughs> of course. And uh, we, we, we must pay attention to one essential point. Reglementation is important. But as Thibault said, if you have not the basic resource, that is to say bamboo, mm -hmm. So what we are doing now is to push strongly the plantation of bamboo mm -hmm. because we know that reglementation will come. But if really a uh, reglementation comes you are ready. and we have no bamboo, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I you get can it. go and finish. Okay, yeah, you yeah. see that. I see so that, that absolutely. Is... But you have the nursery yeah. already with the other guy which has been there over 10 years. You're planning on having... Yeah multiple additional bamboo nursery and you're planning on uh, increasing uh, bamboo um, like uh, growing so uh, you have that basically planned and it's ongoing operation right we can say yes we have quantified the numbers of plants uh, that is to say 240 thousand plant of bamboo 240,000 bamboo plants so far. Yeah. yeah. No, no, um, no, not yet. Oh, that's a plan. Yeah, that's, that's a plan. plan. Okay. In, in 10 years, we would like to plant 240,000 bamboo plants. Okay. And basically, what uh, Christophe is saying is that we are trying to reinforce the agricultural uh, system in Rainier Island, but we don't want to modify it too deeply. Of so course. Basically, we are interested in planting bamboo where there is nothing that is planted. Of so course. we have calculated that basically over the whole agricultural system, there is like maybe 2% of the agricultural system that is uh, not used. Mm -hmm. And in this 2%, we could plant approximately 240,000 bamboo plants. And so this will help us in 10 years to set up a little industry because 240,000 uh, bamboo plants is a lot of canes, you know, every year. So, yeah. I'm doing... so basically this is the idea that we are promoting. We are trying to reinforce the agricultural system, but without modifying it too much. I, I get your approach. I just did some quick math. Um, and I think we have to elaborate this for all the uh, viewers, because most people... Um, probably don't know that bamboo or clumping bamboo, the one you're mostly uh, using there is a bamboo which grows clumping. You plant one plant and um, depending on the type, but let's say it has 40 heads, right? 40 stems out of one plant. Um, if we do that quick math calculations from the 240,000, we get about 10 million uh, bamboo um, cl clumps. Uh, if we can call it that way, um, which would be amazing. Of course, you will not be able to harvest all 10 million um, at once. It's about 20%, more or less, right? Um, but it's a continuous harvest. So this is the true regenerative approach. You would have um, 20, 10 to 20% of the 10 million um, continuous um, material ongoing for something between 70 and 170 years. I mean, this is amazing. This is uh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, our, our, of course, it is amazing. It is a uh, potential. We have uh, in ratio of around ten cans per plant. Also, oh, okay. So, you calculate ten canes 
like you can harvest or 10 which are growing per clump that that we can harvest per plant okay so, so it could be it could be around 2 uh, million and 400,000 canes per year per year yeah and yeah. we have two main two uh, three main application first is eating mm -hmm. the babies Cigar the bamboo babies yeah. once uh, like yeah, yeah. what's the size one meter one and a half meter and then <laughs> something like that okay the second is building mm -hmm. and the third is energy because uh, we here on Larinian Island have two charcoal plants mm -hmm. and uh, the authorities um, already uh, switch charcoal to imported wood and uh, we can prove that we could use bamboo, a local bamboo to, uh, uh, as a, a good energy resources for our two uh, charcoal plants. Much cleaner, absolutely, than, than imported wood. I mean, that's a no-brainer, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, yes. Wow. So this plant is uh, well set up. It is well described. You can download it on our website it is in french but perhaps we could mm -hmm. uh, yeah add it in uh, english <laughs> um, and uh, you have to know that all around larinian island there is islands like mauritius island rodrigue island mayotte island comoros seychelles and of course our big uh, madagascar of course the big big one yeah so, yeah. yeah 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 so on each island, you have bamboo men and bamboo girls who are working on bamboo. So actually, for example, Thibault went uh, last year to train people in uh, Mayotte. Uh, we, we go back this yeah. year. We also talk with Inba from uh, Madagascar mm -hmm. and uh, a local producer in bamboo from Madagascar. We have uh, initiative in Mauritius Island and so and so and so. In this tiny part of the world, uh, bamboo is coming uh, a strong, strong topic. That's that's amazing, positive news, and it's really uh, I'm yeah. I'm very happy to hear that because I mean people don't know it. I didn't know it, and I read a lot about bamboo every day. So it's it's sometimes hard to get to the information. So I'm very thankful. Yeah, I mean, you know how it is. It's like with bamboo. You start with something and you dig deeper and deeper and deeper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of wow. Course, so this of, is of course all bamboo men from all over the world inspire us. That is to say, uh, we want to thank every bamboo man on the planet. <laughs> this is the the key i think we need inspiration and and i think you two are also like amazing inspiration from what i've learned right now and what you're doing and what you have done and what you want to do so um this is uh this is really cool i'm very happy that i've been able to uh, get an interview with you guys um even though we are probably more than ten thousand kilometers away probably more yeah but uh hey thanks to the internet <laughs> Uh, it's possible and um and okay so i think we have to talk uh, more later uh on, on there are more topics um we still have about nine minutes for this podcast so um okay. i would give the ball to you guys if you have any more um things you would like to share or, or current or future project you think could be of some value uh Thibaut, you could perhaps uh explain how we work with uh, NSAM and EZIRA. Yeah, yeah, sure. So um, basically I went to the architecture school when I was younger and uh, today we have the chance to work with them still. And basically what we are doing is we are um, leading some workshops. So it's about a one week uh, course with all the students of the, um, of the architectural school. And basically there is uh, two days of quick design so we give a subject to the student. They are designing and in response to the subject. And then we have three or four days where we built. And so it's really cool for the architectural student because they get to put the pencil down and you go, they, they go in the field, they use the drill, they use the saw. And basically they are, they are giving birth to their drawings. 
And um, so we did it already two years. So um, we are maybe trained, uh, I don't know, about 150 students yet for wow. two years. So we have seen a really great improvement for the students, you know. The and first that... year they were learning about bamboo and the second year they were already bamboo man and bamboo woman. You know, they, they knew all the tips and tricks to design with bamboo. They were then in the field very efficient. And uh, during the three days, they have built uh, one uh, nursery for plants that mm -hmm. is approximately 60 square meters. And they also built seven little, um, little, uh, little shed. Wow. Okay. And it's, it's a huge, sounds like a huge well, network. This... You're growing of people. I mean, this is, this is great. So the future is, is going to be bamboo any one way or the other. Uh, yeah, basically. Sure, sure, sure. Yes. Yeah, this is what we have to do. You know, we, we have to share and we have to, to educate the people, you know, because alone you can't do anything, you know, and you, you will not last forever. So basically you have to share and bamboo is about sharing, you know, when you look around the planet, all the bamboo men and bamboo women are in the sharing process and they are in the sharing of love, the sharing of respect. You know, it's a really, really deep uh, deep practice bamboo so this is basically what we are trying to to keep it in fantastic wow the, se the second point is we have also an engineer school mm -hmm. which name is SOA. and with the uh, student from this school we are working off on a technical dimension of bamboo so they are processing um, different um, studies about how the bamboo is strong, how you can design the bamboo, and so and so and so. We have engineer from uh, La Réunion and uh, young architect from La Réunion, and those two schools have decided to put bamboo in the heart of their skills. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Great, great. That's that's <laughs> an, another fantastic news. I mean, this is possibly even going to help for, I mean, additionally, like tourism, like students going to study specifically bamboo there, going there. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Wow. That's, that's. Yeah. You know, see people coming from France uh, just because they will be able to study bamboo in uh, the uh, architectural school from La Reunion Island. Mm -hmm. And of course, for French people, it's amazing because they're still in France there, <laughs> even though yeah. they're in a top, total tropical uh, environment yeah. um, at the basically located at the bottom of the African continent. Um, but um, yeah, technically you're in France. So the, the studies, they work, It's everything is... It's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> um, if you have yeah. anything else, we have like four minutes. I don't else. Um... Perhaps we could talk about uh, our international exchanges. Mm -hmm. uh, next year, we would like to set up a big uh, international workshop, uh, but not uh, to talk, but to build. Build, you see, yeah, <laughs> that's it. So uh, the the idea should be to, uh, could be to invite uh, people working in the field of bamboo mm -hmm. and uh, to come here and share with us the skills. Uh, and uh, we have one or two building in mind to to build in the next year. And uh, so we have already identified people from Colombia. We have uh, friends there, people from uh, China, of course. Of course. People from Madagascar. And so this could be our next move, that is to say, build a sort of international uh, workshop to share with our local uh, bamboo man, you see. 
that sounds like a, a very international event you're gonna uh, plan there next year that's that's yeah, it. Yeah. that's uh that's not, very cool. not a big one you see not a big one but uh uh people with uh, the strong uh, skills in bamboo and uh, if they are uh, okay to share with us they are welcome that's fantastic i i love your your mindset of really sharing knowledge i mean most people within the bamboo world um have this not everybody as much some more some less um but yeah. i think it's really important like you guys i really believe it's we need to um we need to be able to share knowledge and uh, and and grow there is we are at very complicated times um <laughs> globally and uh, i mean for whatever um logic bamboo isn't there where it should be and should help be helping us as as humans and um and uh, i think um it's now or never right i mean <laughs> Yeah, sure. We got to do it. <laughs> you know. We got to do it. Exactly. Exactly. Well, um, Christophe and Thibault, um, I think this is, this is going to, this is <laughs> really amazing. I mean, uh, I've learned a lot just now talking to you guys. I've seen some things before, but I've learned much more now. So um, I will um, also share uh, additional information on the blog post. Um, um, and um Uh, thank you very much for your time. I'm sure you have other things to do than to be talking to uh, other people about bamboo over the internet, like planting more bamboo. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, let's keep in touch. And uh, and thank you very much from my side. <laughs> yes. Thanks a lot, Thiago. It's always a pleasure to share with the bamboo man of the world. Thanks a lot. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Thanks a lot. Thank you, you very much. Take care, guys. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>